I'm Dr. Christopher Sabine, Professor of Oceanography at the University of Hawaii, and today we're going to learn how to do a spectrophotometric pH measurement. There are several components to the system that you'll need to, to get together before you do the measurement. Of course, you'll need a spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer will need to be programmed to make measurements at 434 nanometers, 578 nanometers, and 730 nanometers. You'll need one or more of your one centimeter cuvettes to put the sample into. You'll need your increase all purple dye, which you can make up as a two millimolar solution in uh, sodium chloride so that it's got the same ionic strength as seawater. This you'll want to adjust to a pH of 7.9, which you can do with just a standard electrode and pH meter like we have over here. Um, you'll also need a uh, micro pipette to add 30 microliters of dye to your sample. And you will need a Pasteur pipette we prefer to use the glass Pasteur pipettes to add the sample to the cuvette, but if you don't have that, you could use a, a plastic pipette, but the glass one is preferred. You'll also need a, a rinse bottle to rinse everything out, and of course your sample. Once you have all those components, then you're ready to begin. First step is to introduce the sample into the cuvette. Remember that pH is sensitive to gas exchange, so you want to work quickly and not open the sample until you're actually ready to run it. But we are ready to run it, so we'll open the sample. And it, the volume that we use is not super critical, but it's nice to do something consistent. So what I do is I uh, add sample using the Pasteur pipette up to the shoulder of the cuvette. Now we want to rinse the sample in the cuvette. So we'll do that three times. And now we're ready for our actual sample. So you try and add it without introducing bubbles because that will change the gas exchange. So we fill it up to the shoulder. Once you have that, you're going to put this into the spectrophotometer and tell it to measure. So it's measuring at 434, 578, and 730 nanometers. You want to write down each of those values. So this is a blank that accounts for any uh, errors in the cell. Now we're going to add our dye solution. So you take your 30 microliter pipette pull out the dye and add it to the cuvette. Take the cap and invert it a few times to make sure the dye is mixed into the solution well. Then put it back into the spectrophotometer and tell it to measure again. Ideally, you want these values to be between 0.2 and 1. So you see our readings are in the proper range. 
Okay, we take the sample out. Next, we record the temperature. Okay, now we're done. All we need to do is to use our uh, computer to calculate the pH and you'll be ready to move on to the next sample. So now we have to enter the values from the spectrophotometer into the spreadsheet. So we will start with the salinity, which is 33.8, the temperature, which is 24.3, the dye volume, we put in 30 microliters, so that would be point zero three milliliters and now we enter it says the absorbance values for seawater only those are our blanks and remember that it's 731st so it's 0 0.056 0 0.054 and 0 0.062 and now we enter the absorbance values after we added the dye, starting with 730, which is 0 0.056, 0 0.862, and 0.588. Once we enter that, the values in the pink here are calculated and the blue value for the pH is at the end 7.898. So that's the pH that we measured.